Since the 7th of October, the US has been trying their very best to make Muslims look like terrorists, but it's actually doing the opposite because so many people are reverting or starting to read the Quran. I posted a video about me telling that I reverted to Islam and what it was like to tell my atheist parents and I got this comment. I just started to read the Quran and I already want to revert. I'm Samoan and Christian and I know my family are going to bite my head off. First off, I want to start by saying you can always come to me in my DMs and everyone in the comment section was so kind to this person, which I think is so beautiful. And just know that you don't have to tell your family if you're scared for your safety or judgment. So many people were inspired and wanted to know the story of how I reverted and what inspired me to start reading about the Quran and Islam. So here's the story of how that all happened. So as a kid, I was in a Christian school, but it wasn't a very strict school. So you didn't have to be Christian in order for you to be in that school. But we did learn about Christianity, the Bible, and we went to church every now and then. And there were some contradictions in Christianity that I just couldn't understand. And no one had any answers to it. For example, the Holy Trinity, Jesus being the son of God and Jesus having to die for other people's sins were things that just didn't make sense to me. I always had a lot of respect for anyone that was Christian, but I just never saw myself following the Bible. My entire life, I always found religion a very interesting thing. So I seeked out to learn more about every religion. So Jewish people, Buddhist people, Christian people, Muslim people, anyone that had any certain religion, I wanted to learn more about it. But I'm not gonna lie, I always had internal judgment and I never saw myself believing in a God. But then one time when I was a young teenager, we went on a trip with school. We were all on this big bus heading to another country and in the middle of the night, we took a break at a gas station. It was raining, the weather was so cold and there was this one big truck. The man who drove the truck was a Muslim man. I saw him take out this little prayer mat, put it on the wet ground and started praying in the rain, in the middle of the night. That was the first real interaction I had with Islam. And that sparked something in me. I was like, wow, that you can start praying in the middle of the night, in the middle of the rain, on a wet ground, that was something very beautiful to me. And from that moment on, I always seek to learn more about Islam, but I never had the right people in my life to learn more about it. And I was too scared to grab a Quran because for some reason I thought, as an atheist, you were not supposed to read that. But that's not the case. Anyone can read the Quran. So then about two years ago, I met my boyfriend who is a Muslim. But at the time, he took some distance from his religion because he struggled a bit. And I was an atheist at that point. I had been an atheist my entire life. But I started asking him a lot of questions about Islam. And I clearly wanted to learn more about it, which also inspired him to come back to his religion more. Eventually, I started reading the Quran and he became a lot closer to his religion again. But he never pushed me. I made that decision all by myself. And before someone is going to judge me and say, haram haram you're not supposed to have a relationship you're supposed to marry i know while i was reading the quran i was also watching a lot of islamic lectures of trustworthy people i was listening to islamic podcasts that could teach me more about islam and i started asking a lot of questions to my boyfriend and his brother and whenever they didn't have an answer i tried to do my own research and i started feeling really close to islam and something in my heart was opening up but i was so in my head about it that i didn't allow myself seeing myself revert. I was in the middle of Surah Al-Baqarah and I was not really understanding this Surah and I told my boyfriend this. So we started watching a video of a trustworthy person explaining Surah Al-Baqarah at a really slow pace. And the more he spoke, the more I realized I've been doing this with my brain this entire time, but I've not been letting anything in my heart. And I told my boyfriend, I feel like I'm going about this in the wrong way. So he asked me, do you believe there's one God? I said, yes. Then he asked me, do you believe that God sent all the prophets and the prophets were sent to spread the message? And I said, yes. Then he asked me, do you believe that Muhammad وسلم, was the last prophet and I said yes and he told me Lily you're, you're a Muslim that's what makes you a Muslim and all this time I thought you needed to know the entire Quran and be super educated before you could call yourself a Muslim and I finally let my heart open up and realized that I am actually a Muslim that night I took my shahada which was a very emotional moment and I cannot explain to you what I felt like during that moment it's something that I've never felt in my entire life it was like this energy rushing into me and going straight to my heart I cannot explain to you what this feeling was like it was so special and since then I've been trying to educate myself as much as possible which is going to take a lot of time because there's a lot to learn and at first I felt really sad that I wasn't born into a Muslim family because that would make it a lot easier for me but actually I realized that these were the cards I was dealt by Allah and this is my test in this current world and that I am so blessed to have been born into an atheist family because this means that I had to seek out Islam for myself which only strengthens my faith and is such an incredible special feeling that I don't think people that are born into a Muslim family can understand so alhamdulillah I'm so blessed that I could seek out Islam for myself because this has been such a beautiful journey even though I do feel lonely every now and then and it's kind of hard with my family this is also an opportunity for them to learn more about Islam which is also a beautiful thing so if you're thinking about reverting to Islam or you did revert to Islam just know 
that there are going to be some struggles and some tests for you but inshallah may allah make it easier for you and it's going to be all worth it i am always here for you if you have any questions or just want to talk about it and i also want to ask you guys that if i at any point say something that is not correct or forget some important context or just misspoke and said something that is actually not true to islam please do correct me in the comments or send me something in my dm i'm always open to criticism and advice i'm not that educated yet so i'm going to make mistakes every now and then and that's okay but just correct me and if you're a friend or a family member of someone that reverted to islam or wants to revert to islam and you don't really understand them all i can say is just read the quran for yourself and that will make it a lot easier for you to understand their perspective and why they reverted and in my opinion islam only makes you a more beautiful and more kind person